Hello, Little Sprouts. This is a story about an astronaut. In fact, it's this astronaut right here, Stephanie D. Wilson. This book is, gonna, is called Reach for the Stars, and it tells us how she became an astronaut. Curiosity. I was just like any other child. I was very curious, liked to travel, and always asked a lot of questions. This is Stephanie at the age of six. Enthusiasm. In eighth grade, a homework assignment changed my life. Our teacher asked us to talk to grown-ups with interesting jobs. I spoke to an astronomer. An astronomer is a scientist who studies space. The astronomer was bursting with enthusiasm as he talked about the millions of stars in the sky. That's when I became interested in space and decided I wanted to be an astronaut. This is a picture of the Horsehead Nebula. Education. I worked hard in school. My parents and teachers encouraged me to have faith in my abilities and to follow my dreams. My favorite subjects in school were science, languages, and music. I also became more interested in space travel. This is Stephanie when she graduated college. Practice. After college, I was honored to be chosen to join the astronaut training program at NASA. As I trained, I practiced many new skills over and over again until I could do them well. Excitement. At last, I was ready to go into space. On the day of the launch, I was very excited. I walked out of the building where we lived for a few days prior to the launch wearing a 35 pound launch and entry suit. I had exercise to stay strong and ate healthy foods, including fruits and vegetables. That's why I had plenty of energy. The space shuttle needed a different kind of energy. This is the crew of the space shuttle Discovery in which Stephanie got to go to space. Energy, lift off. Big blasts of energy from the rocket engines pushed the space shuttle up and lifted off the ground. The shuttle must fly extremely fast to go around the Earth. That's why the rocket engines kept blasting for liftoff. They stop once we reach space. It takes a lot of energy to launch into space. Atmosphere. The atmosphere is the thin layer of air that wraps around the Earth. The space shuttle flies high above the atmosphere. Here it is, going above the atmosphere. Can you guess how long it takes to get into space from the above the atmosphere? Only eight and a half minutes. Along the way, the empty ro solid rocket engines and large fuel tank drop off and fall back to Earth. So here those things are falling off because the space shuttle does not need them anymore. Empty rocket engines and the main fuel tank fall to Earth. The space shuttle's main engines remain with the shuttle. So they only needed these for liftoff. That's why they're able to fall off. Orbit. It's amazing. The space shuttle can fly 250 miles above the ground. But compared to the size of the Earth, it doesn't seem very high at all. Why doesn't the shuttle fall down? Unlike a ball that falls back down to the ground, the shuttle flies so fast it actually falls around the Earth. The shuttle's path is called the orbit. So my friends, here is the Earth. This little foggy white part around it is the atmosphere. And the dotted line represents the shuttle's path which is just above the atmosphere, and it orbits around the Earth. Weightlessness. Once the space shuttle goes into orbit, everything floats. It doesn't matter if you are upside down or right side up. Here is Stephanie floating inside the space shuttle. Wonder. I can't believe this is a picture of me in space. We all learned in school that Earth is round, but it's amazing to actually see it with your own eyes. So here's Earth behind her, and here's what she's talking about. She can see that the planet is 
a round shape. Mission. Our mission included delivering a new section to the International Space Station. Children from around the country submitted names for the new section. Harmony was the winning name. My job was to use a special robotic arm to move Harmony from the cargo bay. Here she is driving the electric arm. In this right here is what she's driving. That's the electric arm that's going to go out and get the Harmony and bring it to the International, International Space Station. Friendship. We made friends. Our crew of seven worked together with three astronauts already on the International Space Station. This group included astronauts from Italy and Russia. Peggy was the commander of the International Space Station, and Pam was the commander of the space shuttle. Here's Peggy, and here's Pam. Success. Returning to Earth is not easy. The space shuttle moves much faster than a normal airplane. As it comes down, it rubs against the air and gets very, very hot. The bottom of the shuttle is covered with special tile to protect it from the heat. If the tiles weren't there, it would burn up. Dream. I still dream. I dream about the millions of stars and planets. I dream about the different kinds of life forms that might be living out there somewhere. What is your dream? You should follow the dream that lies within your heart. So just like the little girl who dreamed of being an astronaut, she worked hard and was able to accomplish that goal. If you work hard, you can make your dreams come true too, just like Stephanie.